There was a time in the 80s when it looked like the days of the circus were numbered in Australia. Some of the travelling shows packed up their tents and moved on for good, beaten by declining audiences who seemed to prefer modern and faster amusements. But the circus is making a comeback, and for one family that means doing what they love doing just about every night of the year. Rachel Friend has their story. <laughs> What happens just before the, the show is everyone's got an inbuilt time. Costumes come out of the truck, ready to go. Turn around. You know that you know it mightn't be your kid. You're still there helping, getting them ready, and that. There's a fifty. There's a ten. Good evening. And welcome to Ashton's, Australia's oldest circus. It's been two years since Ashton's Circus visited the people of Devonport, Tasmania. So the crowd here is as excited as the performers. It's an atmosphere, I think, more than anything. You know, the, the tent could go, we could be out in the middle of the desert, as long as there was us and an audience. That's Ashton Circus. Seven days a week, 52 weeks of the year, the Ashtons, all four generations of them, razzle and dazzle the families that cram their big top. They still perform some of the tricks their great, great grandparents developed. The winning formula which has kept the family in business for more than 150 years. It's a great feeling, and, and you, I, I love, I've seen the show a thousand times. I still go in and watch the acts and still laugh. Uh, I still get a great enjoyment out of the kids. I think that's, that keeps me going. I love to see them, see what they do. Ace Whipcracker and matriarch of the clan, Lorraine Ashton, has spent her life on the road. She married husband, Gary the Clown, who jumped tents from Silver Circus almost 40 years ago. They've performed together ever since. <laughs> Flanked by their grandchildren, Lorraine and Gary cherish the time they get to spend with their brood. But it's Mrs A, Lorraine's mother, who rules the Ashton Roost. Keep moving your feet. Keep moving your feet. Got it right. Every day, kids, parents, grandparents and great-grandparents meet up to practice and every age group anxious to show off their latest trick. How do you keep abreast of all your grandchildren and great-grandchildren? With very great difficulty. But I, I, I remember all their birthdays, I know all their birthdays and, and their names. The only ones I get a little bit mixed up in at the moment is the twin girls. Otherwise, I keep a firm hand on them all. All right, Christopher, how are you going? Life on the road is one big education for the young Ashtons. But what do you prefer? Do you prefer performing or do you prefer your schoolwork? Schoolwork. Do you? Why? Well, I, li I like learning. It's fun. You can learn lots of things. I love schoolwork. And, and as for the fun? older folk, every day presents a new challenge. The exhaust's a bit noisy, otherwise it's all right. My mum and dad are very active in the circus. They, they're the, the core of the circus, the, the heart of it. They, my dad still checks all the trucks. He's here when the tent goes up and goes down. He keeps our mechanics on their toes. Right, lad, there's a storm coming. Put it well down. Don't up. <laughs> Days. Well, when I was a kid, five and six year old, I used to give my mother a hand to drive the mules in the parade. There was no lorries, no cars, just horses and wagons. And we had camels and elephant, one elephant. And that was my job most days, was to ride the elephant 25 and 30 mile a day and show that night. Almost 80 years later, their gypsy lifestyle is made easier by modern transport. Their stable of animals is bigger than ever, even though many local councils have banned travelling shows which you keep don't, performing don't, animals. You don't, no, you don't want to do it, do you? It's all right. It's funny, it's funny, it's funny. 
what do you say to the animal liberationists? Well, I, I say so I'm entitled to their point of view, but there's millions of Australians and millions of people in the world who don't agree with them. I know that our animals are lucky to be that have us, and I know that we're very, very lucky to have them. And we wouldn't give them up for the world. In this high-tech age of computers and video games, the circus is a curious anomaly, an old-fashioned entertainment that somehow survived. Over the last 10 years, attendances have increased and there are now more circuses touring Australia than ever before. People always want good family entertainment, something that the family can come to that's not too sophisticated for kids, not too low-key for adults. It's that good, happy medium. And that's, that's the future of circus. The circus, while well, there's human beings, uh, they'll never, never, we'll never lack for an audience. Rachel Friend, who's quite a performer herself, with the remarkable Ashtons. We'll come back.